a few things that I do want to say and I do want to speak on uh, these agendas that's being pushed Who, who started who started gay shit like that's something I really want to know like who started this gay shit like where did that come from because it's not natural like it's not even like it's not like according to the way life works like it's not natural so like who started it like where did it where did it even it come from like no 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 what i'm saying is who was the first gay nigga like the first one in the history of gay like who was the very very first gay nigga who was the first nigga that was like I'm gonna fuck another nigga in the ass So y'all telling me gay is a white thing. That's what y'all telling me? Y'all telling me being gay is like a white thing. Like that's some of the white people, bro. That, is that what y'all saying? I, I, I didn't say it. So I'm just saying, did y'all say it? Chinese thing? Greeks and Roman type niggas doing freaky. Nah, them Greek niggas, some, them Greek mytholo mythological niggas, them niggas, some freaks. But, um, so I start to see shit where people be like, I was born gay. I don't necessarily think nobody born gay. I think, like, determining what type of vaccinations you get will determine your sexual preference or like what type of shit you eat or like Similac or certain like I think it's a way like it's a way you become like that I don't think you just born gay because you can't be just like if your genome chrome chromosome things create a dick then you a nigga you don't create no girl nigga you don't your chromosome thing's gonna create a dick. That means you gotta do fucking girls. If you born with a dick, you gotta do girl fucking. And you can't do boy fucking. And if you born with a pussy, you gonna do dick fucking. Alright? But, you can't just be born, like, babies, when you a baby, you don't even have a thing of knowing. So you can't be born like that, no. I think it's like, I think it's what you eat or what they feed you or I think, I think it's certain hormones that be in certain shit. Like, like I said, when you get shots and shit, when you're a baby, like I think they pick and choose who's what and what's what, right? I, I think they, they most definitely genetic and genetically altering and shit like that. And one reason why I know about hormones is because I have, um, Somebody that I know that actually is a female and she used to take like hormone pills because of something that happened to her. And she used to grow a beard and like all type of boy shit. Right? Right? She used to take a she used to take she used to take these weird hormone pills 
and she used to grow beards and like she used to be like very masculine from the from the shit right so I used to be like yo like and then when she stopped taking them like all that shit left it was like testosterone pills or some shit it was weird right so like I said now right I I sit back and I think about this, right? I sit back and I think about all of this shit and I go, damn. What is happening to the world? And then I started to think about it from this perspective, like, you know, we drink cow's milk, like. Like, why we drink cow's milk? Like, we drink actual cow milk our whole life that's that in itself is gay like that's gay it's just gay to be drinking cow nipples our whole life that's gay that's like a freak what a do freak But, um, so now I'm starting to see this shit, right? I'm starting to see this shit being pushed. Like, at first it was like, at first it was like a, a, a thing that was happening and niggas is like hiding and shit like that. But now this shit being pushed. Like, it's being, like, it's most definitely being pushed, like, as, like, a standard, right? Like, we're starting to see this shit in schools. We're starting to see this shit in elementaries. Like, that's when this shit started to get freaky. Like, it started to get scary. Because we're starting to see this shit in elementary schools, like, like teachers and all type of shit, like. So I'm saying this right, and this goes to the LA, the school unified school districts. If y'all willing to promote, if y'all willing to promote this type of stuff to kids that are under nine. If like this goes to anybody as a teacher, anybody in the school system, if y'all willing to promote this shit to kids that's under nine and seven and five, y'all better off just bringing weed to the school and letting the kids smoke at a young age. Nah, I just believe like. If y'all gonna let them do freaky gay things, let them do everything. Fuck it. You can't just know. If you gonna let kids learn about gay shit, let them smoke, drink, let them do whatever they want. You can't know. Because look, I'm gonna tell y'all some valuable shit. When you gay, you can't follow no more human rules. You can't live by the regular rules of a thing when you gay. You can't do that. Gay people don't you look, when you gay, you can't be in a regular relationship. No, you got you get the right to fuck everybody. You have to do whatever the fuck you want. You can't just be like, you know, I'm gay but I'm committed. No, no, no. No. I don't work like that. Man commit to woman so y'all can have beautiful family, create babies, and start another generation family tree. When you do the gay thing, you already broke the rules. No, 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 dang. When you're gay, you get to fuck everybody. You need to have sex with everybody. Just fuck everything. Animals, everything. You can't just be gay and just try to be regular. No, no, no. When you're gay, you need to fuck animals. Birds, dolphins, the anything. Gay people should just get married to dolphins. 
Yeah, hey, meet my boyfriend, Flipper. <laughs> All gay people should be required to marry at least one dolphin in their life. That should be like a rule. That should we should we should petition that gay people should be required to marry at least one dolphin. No, since y'all want to do all freaky things, hey, no, nope. no, nigga, don't be trying to be nope. Gay people should marry at least one dolphin per year. That should be industry standard for the LGBT community. Dolphin sex. You feel me? Maybe they'll do something good with reality. Shit, y'all niggas want to fuck niggas and girls? Well, fuck a dolphin. Maybe your baby going to have echolocation. Shit. You going to be in the house. Lil JJ, where the keys at? <laughs> Mama, it's under the table. Feel me, at least your baby gonna have echo location. Shit, look at this. Hey. Shit. At least one dolphin. You feel me? I'm just saying, G. Hey. Feel me? I thought, like, when you go gay, you break the rules. You can do whatever you want. Like. But no, like on some real shit. No, let's get back serious though. I just had to throw y'all mind off a little bit so y'all niggas gonna be all depressed. Because, you know, I got a lot of gay fans. You know, I did like a lot of a lot of trolling in the LGBT community. So a lot of gay people actually fuck with me. But one thing I learned about gay people, bro. I learned one vibe thing about a lot of gay people. They be high key depressed. And they stand up for the gay thing as a race. Right? I learned that about gay people. They stand up for the gay thing as a race. Right? Like, like you can't say nothing about that. Like, you can't say nothing about gay people. Like, it's like a race. It's like a secret giant sex cult race. Like, you know what a person tried to tell me? A person tried to tell me the LGBT community get treated like the black community. Somebody tried to tell me that the LGB community is equivalent to the black community and they should be treated. Somebody tried to tell me the LGB community should be treated how the black. All right. I ain't never seen a nigga get pulled over for being gay. I've never in my life seen a nigga on the freeway talking about, hell yeah, bitch, I'm about to bust a left. Uh-huh, police. Woo. Uh, what did I do off? Uh, apparently nothing, you gay son of a bitch. You under arrest. Man down, he's swinging too many gay arms. Arrest him. He's resisting the arrest with his gay activity. Ah, oh, let me go. Let me go. He's resisting the what? I ain't never seen a gay nigga. I ain't never seen a gay nigga just get pulled over for being gay. I never seen it. I never seen a nigga just get beat for like I never se uh, I never seen a nigga get pulled over for being driving while gay. Never. I've never seen it. When y'all gay niggas start getting pulled over, right? When y'all gay niggas start getting pulled over for being gay, I've never seen a bunch of gay slaves. I ain't never seen no oppressed gay niggas. 
I ain't never seen a field of gay niggas picking cotton. Mm-hmm. Let me get this cotton right here. How does it look on my shirt? This is beautiful. I don't even think I'm going to get this to master. I might make me a dress out of this one. I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen a bunch of oppressed gay niggas. Can you imagine a boat, can you imagine a boat full of gay niggas? You know how back in the days, nigga, when we were slaves, we used to sing strong, masculine slave songs, you feel me? I've been working on the railroad. We were slaves. We used to sing this little light of mine. Woo, I'm gonna let it. Sh you feel me? We used to sing big old slave songs when we was. You feel me? Because we was men, nigga. Jesus, Jesus, he's gonna break us free. You feel me, nigga? We used to sing big old slave songs. Can you imagine if all, all the slave niggas was gay? You know what niggas would have been singing? Yeah, take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till you can't no more. I'm gonna take my slave ship to the old town road. I'm gonna ride that dick till can't no more. You feel me? That's what niggas would have been singing. If they was gay. Bro. My nigga, this shit crazy. This shit like some crazy shit, bro. Can you just imagine gay ass slaves? You know what? Maybe being gay would have helped us. Now I get it. Because back in the days when we was getting whipped, it's because we was masculine. I get it now. Oh, gay is a good thing. We need more gay people now. I just thought about it. The more gayer we are, the more we get through this world. I get it. Because see, gay niggas like freaky shit. So when we was back in the days, when we was getting whipped by the master, right? It was hurting, but we, you know, our man thing, our man thing, nigga, we used to be like, whack, whack. And then that would make the master keep whipping us because he's like, oh, you think you hard, huh? whack. You feel me? But imagine if we did a gay thing back then and he hit her. Whack. Ooh. Ooh, master. Ooh. Whack. Ooh. Whack. Mm. Squee. You feel me? Master would have probably liked that. He would have been like, oh, these, these freaky black things. Hey, you, come over here. Come in house. Hey, get him off the ropes. Get, uh, bring him in house. You feel me? We needed more gay things back then. That would have helped us. Helped us. Oh, maybe the LGBT community got a plan. Oh, we need to help. We need to vote. I'm about to go vote. Yes, prop. Yes, prop 87, whatever that shit called. Vote. Yes. You feel me? Cause we need more gay things. We need gay people to sacrifice their living buttholes for our people. We need gay people to sacrifice their butts so we could be free. <laughs> Cause I think that's all the slave master want. He just want to nail one time. Slave master don't want too much. He just want to hit hit a few times and go on about his business. We need a group of gay people to please all the higher ups. We need some groups of people to just go up the old town road. Uh, hey, the gay people gotta sacrifice their booties so we could be free. That's why in the Bible God said, in order for us to be free, but we must you feel me? In order for me to be free, but we must. In order for my children to be free, but. He always be using the word but a lot. I get it. The 
spot. I want you to tell us. Jesus was a virgin. Nah, nigga, you was doing freak. Nah, nigga, you mean to tell me you was walking through random woods with 12 niggas? Y'all ain't had no bitches? Oh, no. Not my boy, Jesus. Hold on. What's good, Jack? Hold on. My boy, Jesus, mean to tell me, turn the other cheek? Oh, no. Hold on. My boy, my boy, Jesus, was in the middle of the mountains for 40 days and 40 nights with 12 dudes. And they said he never did nothing with girls. Oh. Oh. No. Not my boy Jesus. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> my boy Jesus. He was with niggas his whole life. And he already he got hit at a young oh my God. Oh. Not Jesus. Oh, they got Jesus young. Think about this. John the Baptist got Jesus when he was like four or five and took him on a mission in the lake and all type of shit. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. John the Baptist got He took Jesus from his family when he was young, like four or five, and took him on a journey in the woods. And then Jesus came back and then won no pussy. Oh! Hold on. Jesus came back from his mission from being with a grown-ass man for about 14 years straight. He was with a grown-ass Baptist man for 14, 15 years straight. Came back and then won no pussy. Oh, no! Oh, no. He said he dunking the boy under the water naked. Talk about, I'm going to baptize you if you feel something in the back that is the fingers of God. Oh. Oh. Then you look at all the pictures of white Jesus. He clearly looked gay. No. Damn, dog. Why they do my boy Jesus like that? He ain't even have a fair chance. John the Baptist kidnapped him. We need to press in charge, man. We're Louis the Thirteenth, the King James, and then we need a court trial. Oh. We need a court trial. We need some type of fingerprint evidence, forensic science or something, man. They was doing freak to my boy Jesus. Oh, he was a baby. He didn't even know no better. Oh. <laughs> oh. He didn't even know no better, man. They didn't train him and did all type of freaky. Man, my boy Jesus. Oh. Why they do them like that, man? Moses parted the Red Sea. What? That sound kind of freaky. Maybe his booty was bleeding everywhere and Moses separated his cheeks and did freaking. Oh, man. That might be the metaphor of it. Maybe his booty was bleeding everywhere when Moses parted it. Oh! Now my boy Jesus, they ain't doing like that, man. Oh, my God. They parted my boy Jesus' booty, Red Sea booty. Oh, why they do it like that, man? <laughs> oh! My boy Jesus was gay. That's going to be the name of my next album. Jesus is gay. I think that will make headlines. I'm naming my album that Jesus was gay. 
I'm at home, Ev. That'll make the most headlines in the world. Jesus was gay. Daylight drops his new album, Jesus Was Gay. Damn, I'm going platinum. Oh, I'm about to go make that right now. Oh, no. Oh, I need a single. I need me a single for this. Hold on. Oh, no, we can't go out like this. I need a single. Hold on, man. Fuck that. I need a beat. Oh, hold on, man. My brain fucking up. Get up. Okay, let's go. We need a single for this right now. Jesus was a homo. Homo. Jesus. Jesus was a homo. He gay. Jesus was a homo. Yeah. Jesus was a homo. He gay. Yeah. Jesus was a homo. Yeah. Jesus was a homo. He gay. Yeah. Oh, that. That ad lib. Cold. Hold on. Look at this. Beagle type beat. You feel me? Nigga on missions with 12 niggas. Ain't fucking no bitches. Ain't, ain't fucking no bitches. Nigga don't. Ain't. Oh. Ho. Nigga on missions with 12 niggas. Ain't fucking no bitches. Ain't fucking no bitches. Jesus was a homo. Was a homo. He gay. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, that's hard. Oh my god, oh, we about to, boy. Oh, uh. Jesus was a homo, he gay. Hey, fucking no bitch, hey. Jesus was a homo, he gay. Don't fucking no bitch, hey. Don't fucking no bitch, hey. Nigga on the mission. 12 niggas, fuck no bitches. Nigga gay. What I say to nigga gay. You feel me? That's a hit. That's a. Ooh! No cap. Shut up. Hey. Run of weed. Bible say don't turn the other cheek. Hey, hey, don't fuck with me. Bible say don't turn the other cheek. Hey, this is a dead beat. Moses in the ass, bloody butt, part the Red Sea. Hey, hey, hey. You feel me? This is to be a hit. Gay, gay, Jesus was a homo. He gay, Jesus was a. Hey, hey, nigga don't fuck no bitch. Two niggas in the trench. Feel me? Hey, this is hard. I'm about to make this right now. This is finna go platinum. This finna go. This is a hit. Jag, you getting on this or what? You ready for your publicity? Niggas, you think niggas hate? No, you know, niggas afraid of your rapping ass. We need to make these type of hits. Come on, Jag, don't be scared, Jag. Get on this with me. Jesus was a homo. You feel me? That's a hit. Hey, somebody need to make that. Uh, uh, we might need to make artwork. We need to, you know what the artwork gotta be? It gotta be Jesus bent over and the devil gotta be nailing them in the anal. We 
We need the devil fucking Jesus on the cover. Like literally fucking Jesus. That'd be the that'd be track number two. Fucking Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Fucking fucking Jesus. Hey, hey. Fucking Jesus, fucking Jesus, hey, fucking, fucking Jesus, hey. You feel me? That'd be hard. Hey, somebody make that. I know one of you niggas make covers. You know what I be doing when I want to do stupid shit like this? I just get on YouTube and type in free beat. And all these shit. It's your first time away from your new house. But you're not worried about that. Hey, moms, watch this. Cornmeal, these niggas sound crazy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah. I wanna pray for me. Don't wanna pray for me. Hey, hey. Niggas who gay for me. Hey, hey. Don't wanna pray for me. Hey, hey. Niggas who gay for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna run it on my own. You feel me? Hey, I, I'm about to finish this whole prize. I got three records already. Don't pray for me. Yeah, yeah. Niggas who gay for me. Hey, I'm about to finish this whole project right now. This is going to be hard. I got three beats. Hey. You feel me? I'm about to finish this whole thing right there. This is hard. Nigga, these Christian niggas going to kill me. Rapper Daylight has been brutally murdered by artist Lecrae. <laughs> Was stabbed 26 times with a cross knife. Rapper Daylight was brutally murdered by Yolanda Adams. And Kurt Franklin may have something to do with it. T.D. Jake's blood was found at the crime scene. And these niggas gonna start off. <laughs> Yo, they gonna crucify a nigga for this. Daylight has been seen getting into an altercation with T.D. Jakes at the Source Awards. T.D. Jakes all on the pulpit. Tired of niggas. Tired of niggas all in the videos. There's a nigga come to Christianity. You see? Tired of niggas all dissing Jesus and all that. Come to the church house. Nigga, blood of Christ. Nigga, death row. Yo, this cold. Hey, man. Yo, that's going to be my next album name. Jesus is gay. Hey, what y'all think would happen to me if I, um, if I put this thing out, what you think would happen to me? And then, what if I, like, what if I shoot the video with, like, a Jesus-looking nigga, but he, like, got on high heels and he just doing all type of gay shit? Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to say, I come to you and ask you to bless me in the name of James. You feel me? What y'all think gonna happen to me? Dear Jesus, I mean, they already pressing the gay agenda. Why would niggas be mad at me? Shit, I'm just going along with the flow. The fuck? Niggas mad at me, bro. I'm just going along with the flow. Baby.
Hey, I'm just saying, G. You feel me? I, I don't point the finger at me. I didn't start the shit. Y'all did. You feel me? I'm trying to get 2020 on the billboards and diamond platters, old town roads and shit. Look at it. All the gay niggas winning. The fuck? Yeah. Nigga, street niggas ain't winning no more. You crazy. Nigga, winning as a street nigga, that's played out. When the last time you seen a nigga that looked like Dub C win anything? Huh? When last time you seen a nigga get to the stage like, what's good, nigga? You feel me? What's it for you? Nigga, you never. Nigga, that shit over. You feel me? Nigga, that shit over. Nigga, them niggas don't win no more. Nigga, gangsta things don't win no more. No, nigga, hell no. No, nigga, get a, the gangsta thing ain't winning no more. No, 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 no. Nope, no more against the thing. That thing gone. You need gay things to survive in this world. Gotta have a feminine thing to survive. The gangster thing don't work no more. YG might have been the last, the last of the gangster thing. And I fuck with YG for that. You feel me? Yeah, I'm conscious and I get it and I be on my... Look, let me tell y'all something about myself. Yeah, you know, I'm on my conscious shit and I be preaching to y'all, but when I cut my radio on, nigga, I ain't listening to no... Nigga, no, Absoles and Kendricks and Coles and them, nigga, I cut my YG right on because you need balance. You feel me? You need balance in life. You feel me? You can't be all this conscious shit and nigga listening to it and all the extra shit. Nigga. You go fuck around and go crazy out here. Nigga, I cut my YG on... You feel me, my nigga? Pull up to the function, nigga. Mama, nigga. You feel? At the end of the day, I'm from the West Coast, nigga. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever get fucked up, my nigga. You feel me? Then come out YG on. Then come out Savvy Third on. You feel me? Call my real nigga Slim for all the rest. And get eat, man. Pray for my nigga Slim. You feel me? I cut my real niggas on when I'm in the car, nigga. Fuck you talk about, nigga. Nigga, I cut the keys on. This was nigga. Vroom, nigga. Beep beep beep. Nigga. YG 400. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga, fuck you niggas talk about. Nigga, I ain't about to be in there listening to metaphorical oracles with the spiritual mirrors. Man, I ain't about to be listening to all that dumb shit. All the... Man, you gonna fuck around and be depressed driving listening to these niggas. Bro, you wanna sit in traffic and listen to a nigga rap about how hard life is? Nigga, you gonna fuck around and run somebody over. How you in the car? Nigga, you ain't stuck in traffic. A nigga talking about you ever been stuck in traffic you wanted to kill people. It was madness. Your sadness is multiplying because you hope you're driving. So you start crying, asking why are you in the carpool lane, but there's no people in front of you. Then you, bro, man, you're going to fuck around to kill somebody listening to this shit, man. You better turn up while you in traffic, nigga. Nigga, I'll be in traffic four, five hours. Don't even know. Nigga, YG 400. Oh, nigga. Nigga. Fuck you niggas talk about, nigga. I ain't about to be a no motherfucker. Nigga, you crazy. I ain't be a nigga traffic and listening to all the niggas metaphysical spinnacles with the cynicals. Crazy. I am not about to be listening to the metaphysicals with the spiticals. You crazy. If you niggas can listen to the metaphysicals with the spiticals, all y'all want, nigga, I ain't listening to that stupid ass shit, nigga. I'm about to be turning up in traffic. Fuck you thought. Damn, where my shit at? Don't tell me I left it in the car. You niggas be in the car listening to suicide. Suicide, su suicide. I just want to cry. I just want to die. Man, I ain't about to listen to that stupid ass shit, bitch. I'm about to turn up. Nigga, I get in the car and go, bum, 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 whistle. Bum, 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 whistle, nil. Bum, 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 b
Nigga, fuck you niggas talk about it. Nigga, I'll make sure I get to my destination happy. We're seeing for Leonid. Nigga, fuck you niggas talk about it. Oh, nigga, you know what a spectacle is, nigga. Nigga, spiticles with the hitticles. You know, these lyrical niggas be saying all type of periticates. Yo, the astronomical, pharmacoronical, sopranico, bite you with the piranico, mononose, and the monotone. I don't, man, nigga just be saying anything, bro. Feel me? Nigga just be saying random to tacticals, a laxion roll with the elastic flow, raptacles, raptatoles, dinosaur, man, man, spediticals. Ain't nobody trying to hear them spediticals. That's bullshit. Niggas just be niggas be saying all type of sporadicates. Sporadic catacles, cataclysmics, catacratisnos. Look, I don't use those type of syllables in none of my raps. You never gonna hear me say antipacticals. You know, how, like it's like a thing like arch archaeologicics, man. Sporadic catacles, cataclysmics. You ain't gonna never hear me use a word called cladic cladiclysmic. Never. My mind, my mind has learned how to erase all those practicals. Like it's like like I never use tactical, right? I stay away from anything with animal, right? Like tactical. I stay away from anything tactical, like. Tactical, right? Or animal, or like, you know those words. Like, you know those words. You know when the first person start the verse off, if he gonna be like one of those niggas. You know the ones I'm talking about, <laughs> right? If a nigga start his verse off with astronomical, oh my God, you know where we going with this. He about to go into all like astronomical, domino effects, ramen, olamagos, galapagos, island with the lizards, piranha nose. You feel me? You know off the gate. If a nigga start his verse off with astronomical, oh, we know where we going. Soon as a nigga say, cause I'm a cannibal, I'll be like, oh, here we go. The for the eighteen hundred of times. I, he either if a nigga start his verse off with cannibal or say something anywhere in his verse with cannibal, somewhere in there animal is coming. Guaranteed. I clavicles. Oh man, it's just certain words that I ain't using because I know that's the that's the mumble rap. Look, hip hop got mumble rappers too. You feel me? Hip hop got a it's a lot of mumble rappers in hip hop, bro. A lot. No, oh, y'all be talking about the thugs and all that, man. It's a lot of mumble rappers in hip hop. You ever go back and listen to like something you thought was dope, and you be like, man, this nigga ain't talk about nothing. It's like it's like niggas just used to read the dictionary and find big words. You can't stop the Paracosaurus, Tarakobatabaroris. Man, what? Astronomical. <laughs> you know the astronomical coming. Three words that all super lyrical niggas use. Astronomical, cannibal animal, and a uh, tactical. Those three words that you gonna hear in every every lyrical nigga verse: astronomical, tactical, and uh, animal. You gonna hear those three words in every single quote unquote rapper rapper nigga verse. Surgical, I, you know, I figured it out. It's al. I I just cracked the code. It's al. No, like al, like. Words that end with A-L or E-L, right? It just got to be something old, like tactical, animal, tactical, astronomical. Like, it got to end with the, with an L. Damn, that 
that's it. As long as it end with an L, that's what make your thing hip hopish. The Nostra Dominoes. The Nostra Dominoes. Tactical, astronomicals, mathematical. Oh yeah, if you hear mathematical, oh you know where you going to. That boy, I used to hate when niggas the flow mathematical. Tropical. <laughs> Tropicals, mathematicals, animals, astronomicals. It's when you use the, the the L at the end of the word. That's a that's the mumble hip hop thing. The astronomicals, piranos, with the smilonicals and the Bahama flows. Hey, you ever notice when niggas be on live, they be acting like they got a big ass house, but they be just literally walking back and forth. Nigga, my living room was smaller than the motherfucking nigga. I done did about 20 laps. Nigga, I'm running out of space. Nigga, I'm like, shit, nigga, I just make a left right here. <laughs> oh, we in the kitchen again. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> hey, keep it real. You feel me? Shit. Turn around. She's in the kitchen again. I right, go back to the living room. Hey, but no, it's some real shit. Walking and talking is healthy, right? So we'll get, we, we'll, I'm gonna give y'all some jewels before I go. Walking and talking is healthy, right? So, um, I have one of, I have a crazy habit. I can't talk on the phone and sit still. I don't know how people do that. I don't know if I'm the only one. <laughs> you feel me, nigga? Well, I just did another lap in the kitchen. No, uh, he's going out here. Um, but, right, I don't know how some people could do it. I don't know how some people could walk. I mean, I don't know how some people could talk on the phone, right? Like, I mean, or sit and talk. Like, I gotta walk. Like, if somebody call, I could be in the middle of any conversation. Nigga, phone ring. Hello? Oh, nigga, you crazy. Nigga, on my mama, nigga. You niggas crazy. Because it's the thing about Cali niggas. Whenever we talking... We got like our bodies, like Cali niggas' bodies talk with they work with they mouth. What? Oh my mama, nigga. Nigga. Oh, nigga, you crazy. Shit. What? I don't, bro, I don't know how to talk in one place, bro. It's hard. I be trying, I be trying. I be like, yo, just sit on the phone. Like, it'd be crazy, right? I'd be laying up, boom, me and, me and baby girl laid up, nigga, 3 o'clock in the morning, I get a call. Hello, nigga, get out the bed, nigga, walking all through the house. Yeah, nigga, you know, man, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga sent me the track, my nigga. Why be like, babe, why you can't just lay down and put your headphones on? I'm like, look, you don't get it. You that's See, that's what I'm, you don't get it. We ain't, you don't get it, nigga. Three o'clock in the morning, nigga. I'm up, nigga. What? You feel me? I'm just keeping it real. But um, walking is important. That's kind of what I want to end this live with. Uh, walking is very, very important, man. Um, make sure y'all do a lot of walking if you can. Uh, whenever you can, if you got any time to walk. Just walk, man, and talk to yourself, right? Don't be afraid to talk to yourself. Who cares if people think you weird? Sometimes it's good to hear your own voice going inside your own ears, right? Instead of hearing that voice inside your head, right? Sometimes you got to talk. You got to literally talk to that voice that's inside your head. So take those walks, like, right? Sometimes those walks are extremely important, right? So take those walks and be like, yo, look, man, what are we going to do today, right? Like, what's our plan, right? Because I'm going to tell you, I think... Right, I'm gonna say some wild shit, bro, and this might be wild, but I think like we all got like a like a parasite inside our head, like a plankton. Uh, it might sound weird to me. It might sound weird to y'all, but I think we all got a parasite inside our head, and that shit be telling us to do shit that we don't want to do. I think we could bargain with that thing, right? Right.
Alright. My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. Um, that was my son calling me. But, uh, like I was saying, I think we all got like a little plankton in our head or somewhere in our body, some form of parasite or something. Parasite controls the way we maneuver or whatever it is, whatever it is inside our mind, that voice that we be hearing and make us do all type of shit that we possibly don't want to do. Right? My bad, man. One more time. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. So, like I was saying, sometimes you need to talk to that. Whatever that thing is inside your head, sometimes you need to talk to that thing. So, go for walks, right? Go for walks. And while you're on these walks, don't be afraid to talk to yourself. And kind of like, kind of like block out everybody that's around you, right? Kind of like tap into your own little atmosphere. Like, okay. I'm inside my atmosphere. I know I'm in Times Square, wherever the fuck I am. But to tap into my own atmosphere, just kind of walk, like, boom, boom. Like, yo, bro, you know it's up to us to do whatever we need to do. Like, if I don't win, you don't win, right? So these are the type of things you got to kind of, like, convince yourself, right? I had to learn how to do this when I was playing basketball heavily, right? Like, when I played basketball, when you play basketball and you play at such a high level, you got to convince yourself. You got to actually talk to yourself to make big buckets, Especially if you're like a go-to guy and like y'all down by one, right? I don't know if y'all ever been through that, but like being down by one point and knowing that you about to get the ball, you got to mentally tap all the way in. Like you got to really tell yourself, hey, yo, bro, my nigga, we got to win the game. Not the team. Fuck the team. Me and you. But like you don't know who you be talking to, but you're like, yo, my nigga. We got to hit this bucket. Like, I and you, my mind, we got to hit this bucket, bro. You got to, you got to really tap in, right? You got to tap in. So, you got to start doing that with regular life, right? My nigga rang in the building, what's good eat? You got to start doing that with regular life, right? You got to be like, okay, boom. Yo, bro, it's up to you, right? Right? Whatever we need to accomplish, however we need to do it, we need to do it because you might be slacking, bro. So, the problem is you talk with everybody else, but you don't talk with yourself. And that's a problem for most people. They don't talk to themselves, right? Sometimes you got to talk to yourself and really... Win. Stupid ass nigga. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself and really get tapped in with yourself, bro. Because sometimes nobody, you ever wonder why you feel like nobody else can't push you to be better? It's because you need to push yourself. Right? You ever notice why you be like, damn, I can't really, I know what he, like for example, right? I give y'all a lot of information. I do billions of blogs on how y'all can maneuver through this world. And some of y'all listen to what I say, but don't apply it, right? A lot of y'all listen to what I say, but don't never apply it. I'm going to tell you why you can't apply it. Because you're hearing another voice. It sounds good. It's soothing to the ear. But you're hearing another voice. You ain't going to never fully apply it until you tell yourself to do it. Right? You ain't going to never fully apply it until you tell yourself to do it. Right? Until you really tell yourself, hey, bro. Nigga, you a fucking loser, bro. Sometimes you got to tell yourself that, hey, bro, you tripping. You a fucking, you really lazy. I do that all the time. I be sitting there, right? Look, I'm going to tell you why it's so hard for me to play video games and shit. Like, dog, I got every game you could possibly think of over here, bro. Look at this. Nigga. Bro, all these shits, bro. I don't, my nigga, look, they, they out and all that. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Fuck this shit. It be so hard for me to play these. I I be buying these shits because I be thinking so much. Sometimes I be, I just need a break, right? I just need a break and I need to just go like do some regular human function shit, right? And literally, right? I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you how it work, right? I'm, I'm gonna show y'all how it work, right? 
my mama, right? I'll be right here playing the game. Wham, wham, wham. Hold on, let me get a controller so I can really, really. I'm gonna show y'all how I be feeling, bro. <laughs> Boom, right? So I be playing the game, ram. Be playing the game, I'm playing, right? And then out of nowhere, right? I look at myself in the mirror. Oh, you like a high key weirdo. You know how much stuff you could be doing right now? You playing Garden Warfare. That ain't even a grown-up game. Man, what's... Oh, no. Oh, I'm going outside. Oh, fuck this. Shit. I'm going outside. Oh, fuck this. I'm going outside. Shit. Shit. Bruh. It be weird cause you'll be have you be having chip crumbs all on your thing. You don't even be noticing. You like, damn, I'm naked with chips over me playing the game. Oh, I'm like a high key weirdo. I gotta get outside. This is weird. It's like weird. I'm doing weirdness. I gotta get out this weird. No, Garden Warfare, a dummy fire though. Oh, no, I can't take this. I got to get outside. I got to go right outside. Nigga, I be outside. I live in Oregon. All my white people out here, they be thinking I'm crazy. Be calling the police and nigga, all type of shit. I be outside full arguers with myself. Man, what was your problem? Nigga, you was in there fucking playing the game like a weirdo. Man, how you gonna tell me not to play the game? Nigga, I like Garden Warfare. Nigga, that shit weak. Nigga, you can play Call of Duty or something else. Nigga, 2K or something. You gonna play Garden Warfare? Nigga, well, nigga, Minecraft. Garden, that's my stuff. Nigga, you like... Bro, I be having full live arguments with myself, bro. They be looking at me like that crazy nigga with the face tattoo outside again with his multiple person disorder. Nigga, I be playing basketball by myself. Nigga, I remember one time I got, in a, I got into a real live argument with myself. I fouled myself and all. I tried to shoot the ball with this hand, slap myself with the other hand. Oh, God, I was wrestling on the ground, all type of shit. Man, this shit felt like Fight Club. I could have sworn it was like 20 of me. That shit felt like Fight Club, nigga. I, I could have sworn it was a basketball team out there. Like, it was a lot of us. Like, nigga, we was hooping. We're playing 303. Nigga, my neighbor sent me a video of me just rolling on the ground. Hey, man, what's wrong with you?